Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to talk to you guys about iOS 4.3, the final release, and GM, and the jailbreak that's revolving around it as well. So I have a post over here on my website, besttechinfo.com, and this will kind of help me make my point. So the title of it is iOS 4.3 plus jailbreak and iTunes 10.2.1 update. So iTunes 10.2.1 has been released and it has only been one week since iTunes 10.2 went public and it's most likely nothing big. However, it could fix possible bugs related to either the iPad 2 or iOS 4.3. So iTunes 10.2.1 has actually been confirmed jailbreak friendly by none other than jailbreaking superstar MuscleNerd. So he tweeted this about two hours ago and he said today's 10.2.1 iTunes is safe for JB plus UL, which means jailbreakers and unlockers, like last week's 10.2 fast release. Even keeps new, and then he put a link there, and then he said features. So basically, he just confirmed it to be safe for all jailbreakers. So there have also been numerous reports that iOS 4.3 is supposed to be released today, and that never happened, and possibly tomorrow, which I highly doubt it'll happen. Uh, but whatever the case may be, I highly recommend staying away from iOS 4.3. There aren't even really many good features to it at all for current iDevice users. However, it does bring some pretty cool stuff to the iPad 2, but then again, the iPad 2 will only come with 4.3. But aside from that, it will also permanently update your baseband if you are on an iPhone, and therefore, you will not be able to unlock your iPhone until the dev team releases the next unlock for that baseband and when you restore it just basically rewrites over the current firmware that you're on and the jailbreak as well. So I'm not really going to go over it too much right now however there have been numerous reports that there won't be a jailbreak for iOS 4.3 for quite some time and it could be something like we saw with iOS 4.2.1 and the untethered jailbreak for that. And the reason why the iPhone dev team likes to wait on releasing their exploits is so that they can save it for future devices. So I remember seeing earlier this week that one of the main members of the chronic dev team known as POSIX Ninja tweeted and he said that hopefully the iPad 2 will still contain the shattered exploit, which I don't know if you guys know about it, but that's what was going to be released in the initial version of Green Poison. However, because GeoHot came to the picture he had a different exploit that he wanted them to use instead so they could save the shattered exploit for future devices such as the iPad 2 and the iPhone 5 so hopefully that the iPad 2 will still contain that exploit so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about and also again just stay away from iOS 4.3 however you can obviously go to it and check it out for a little bit and then you can downgrade if you have your SHSH files saved now if you upgrade to iOS 4 4.3 GM right now, you will still be able to downgrade because Apple is still signing iOS 4.3 SHSH blobs for newer iOS devices. But as soon as iOS 4.3 is released, they will cut off signing SHSH blobs for iOS 4.2.1, which means that you will no longer be able to downgrade without your SHSH blobs. So be sure to back them up. And if you don't know how, I will have a video that is down below in the more info that you can check out that will explain. SHSH blobs and tell you how to back them up. So I hope you guys like this video. Please be sure to rate it up and let me know what you think in the comment section below and also subscribe if you aren't already. This is ICU signing out. Thanks for watching. You're now at the selection menu for the end of this video. You can go ahead and click over on the left hand side to be taken to my ICU ID channel. There I make videos that do not have the time to get posted onto this channel or just other videos that I decide to post on that channel instead. Uh, I will also be answering questions weekly over there, any questions that you guys have related to jailbreaking, and that's why there is a mail icon to the right of the ICU ID name. You can go ahead and click on that mail icon to go ahead and compose a message and send it to my ICU ID channel, and hopefully I will get to answering it in my next weekly help video on that channel. Now on the right hand side is my IC Vlogs channel, and you can go ahead and click over there for great daily vlogs, and I also update my viewers with just different news on that channel as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to decide what you want to do. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.